Hi everyone, my name is Uche Osaha from West Virginia University and my topic is Quality Guided Sketch to Photo Image Synthesis. When we talk about Quality Guided Sketch to Photo Image Synthesis, basically what we are saying is we want to transition from a sketch to a photorealistic image while maintaining high quality. This task, however, is not easy because there are so many factors that could affect the efficiency of such a model, like the hyperparameters, the nature of the sketches, unique attributes that might be added. So we have to come up with a model that could transition the sketches into images with unique attributes and at the same time have quality without compromising the identity of the subjects. So our strategy can be broken down into three main points. We adapt a single generator that assigns unique attributes. We come up with a single hybrid discriminator that ensures that our hyperparameters and the real and synthesized images are consistent. We also adopt a quality guided encoder, which minimizes the dissimilarity between original images and the synthesized images. At the same time, we produce such images with high quality and not compromise their identity. So our model comprises of two main structures, a generator section on the left and a discriminator on the right. For the left section, we have a quality guided encoder, as uh, you can clearly see highlighted in yellow, and of course, a generic generator that transitions from the sketch all the way to an image. Our rationale behind this configuration is to extract features from the quality guided encoder, compare them with their corresponding layers of the generator, and use an L2 loss to minimize the dissimilarities. This concept, we believe, will reduce the burden of the generator and also aid in handling key features such as color balance, global and local feature learning, edge detection and the likes and we also have a discriminator by the right which is a hybrid discriminator where we handle attribute prediction and uh, of course predicting true or false for each respective image our images are fed into the network uh, with an eight channel five channels for attributes and an rgb three channel now this is the complete model architecture. As we can see, we have G of Y, uh, which is a generator, where we move from a specific image modality to another. Of course, we have a discriminator. This process, which we then carry out in circles, where we transition from an image to a sketch, then from a sketch all the way back to an image. We have the yellow highlighted section, as we've clearly discussed in the previous slide which will, is our quality guided network, if you like. The weights of course are shared and each respective layers of the encoder of the quality encoder section is matched with corresponding encoder layer of the generator G of X. We carry out an L2 loss to minimize the dissimilarities. This way we improve the quality when we transpose back to a full image. Of course, at the red highlighted section, we have an identity preservation network. We carry out a contrastive loss minimization of any identity with this corresponding real image. This complete network ensures that when we transition from sketch all the way to an image, we have quality, identity, and unique attributes as specified by the user. Now, this is a spectrum of our results. Our attributes were focused on hair color, where we had the black, the blonde, the brown, and of course the sex of the individual. As we can see, this is uh, part of a very good results that we have, and we can see how we've been able to synthesize these realistic images. Now, our results, we had a quantitative comparison with other techniques that are quite popular. Pix to pix, C cycle GAN and C GAN, HF to P of course, and uh, our results show considerable improvement for FID, IS and SSIM scores, respectively.
We also did the same for BP GAN, CA GAN, SCA GAN, and C GAN. All these are clearly explained in our paper. So these are our results. We have a CMC curves for a couple of models as highlighted in the legend for CUHK data set, for the triple IT data set, as well as the cell of A. And for all three CMC curves, we see considerable improvements by our model. We also have at the bottom right, ROC curves representing ablation studies when we extract a couple of losses for the model just to show how our model responds. And of course, the blue shows our best results when the model losses are completely in place. In summary, we've come up with a novel sketch to image translation model that comprises of a single generator and a unique hybrid discriminator. Our model caters for all the perceptual appeal a synthesized high quality image should have. We broke down the problems into smaller sections to ease computation and at the same time maintain accuracy. Our verification results confirm our claims and show room for more improvement, of course. Thank you. Any questions, please?